and Professor Clements with you as we consider Chapter 2 of the uh, OpenStax College Physics, dealing now with the uh, concept of uh, constant acceleration. And in this uh, situation, we're going to develop four kinematic equations. Kinematic, we're just describing motion. We're not saying why motion occurs. Or we're describing motion, you know, position, velocity, acceleration, and time will be part of our uh, equations here. So back to our definition of acceleration. Change of velocity divided by the time interval gives us acceleration or average acceleration. Um, and its average acceleration is going to be the instantaneous acceleration because we're dealing with constant acceleration. Con acceleration is the same all the time. Let's let uh, the initial time be zero. So we can drop that t naught term in the denominator. Multiply both sides by t and uh, the t's cancel over on the right side and we get a uh, uh, little bit of algebra coming in here. Uh, we have at on the left, v minus v naught, add v naught to both sides and here's our first kinematic equation. The final velocity can be found by taking the initial velocity and adding on acceleration multiplied by time. And notice the units here, v naught, that's velocity, meters per second. This is meters per second squared times seconds. So one unit of seconds cancel. We've got a meters per second quantity plus another meters per second quantity gives us a meters per second quantity. So the units check out here. Um, then average velocity. Uh, the average velocity is our um, final velocity minus the initial velocity or sorry, plus the initial velocity divided by 2. This is valid as long as the acceleration is constant. Uh, the concept of distance equals rate times time, the distance traveled, and we're going to be dealing with displacement here because we're in motion in a straight line for these equations. Um, but we can calculate the final position minus the initial position uh, by taking this rate, the average velocity is the rate, multiplied by time. So we're going to add x naught to both sides to uh, uh, produce our final equation here and we get a, uh, a result that the final position can be calculated by taking the initial position and then adding one half of v plus v naught and multiplied by time. So that's our second kinematic equation. Um, then if you would uh, Go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, well, sorry, pause. You'll scroll down to see the answer. But pause. I want you on your own to substitute V into equation 2. Get rid of the V in equation 2 and replace it with V naught plus AT. So pause and do that uh, little process. So you should be looking at a uh, similar screen to what I have here. We start with equation 2, but we're going to replace it with v naught plus at. There's a v naught and another v naught inside the parentheses, so we have 2 v naught plus at in the parentheses. Um, multiply through by t, so 2 v naught t plus at squared. And lastly, distribute by the 1 half. The 1 half times a 2, that will be a factor of 1. And we'll have 1 half at squared in the last term. So this is our third kinematic equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half at squared, um, equation three. And then against substitution, if you would solve for t in equation uh, one and then put that into equation two. Again, let's all pause here and uh, come back for the answer. So equation one, if we solve for t, it's going to be v minus v naught divided by a. <clears throat> taking that into the t position in equation 2, uh, x naught plus 1 half v plus v naught, and instead of t, v minus v naught over a. I'm going to, uh, this a is in the denominator, I'm going to put it with the uh, 2a, to, to make 2a here, subtracting x naught on both sides, and then we have v plus v naught and v minus v naught. Uh, it's a binomial multiplication, two terms, so we have to distribute v on each term, so that's a v squared minus a v, v naught. I multiply v naught on both terms, v naught times v minus v naught 
uh, squared. And notice here a minus V, V naught, and a positive V, uh, V naught. So those combine to zero. And we have, uh, if I multiply both sides by 2A, so 2A times X minus X naught equals V squared minus V naught squared. Or we'll see if I can scroll a little bit here. Um, we have V squared minus V naught squared plus 2A times X minus X naught is our fourth kinematic equation. We have four kinematic equations, and um, each of them has a unique feature. Equation four does not have the time parameter. Equation three does not have the final velocity parameter. Uh, equation two does not have the acceleration parameter. And equation one does not have the x, the position. As you work through a particular problem, uh, you'll have to decide which of these four equations you'll be using. Your problem solving method will to be list all that you know with the proper symbols and then see how these four equations can help you solve the problem. And you want to avoid a situation where you have two unknowns uh, in the problem. So if you're given x and v naught and t and want to know v, uh, well, that would be two unknowns if we have A unknown and V unknown. So you have to pick a different equation. So we'll practice that in class. Uh, keep reading and keep uh, practicing.